Bisons and the Longhorns hook up, keep pulling Greg Swindell. And in the first inning, the Bisons get things rolling. It's a ball off of the wall, off of the glove, and it's 1 0. Huggins would get on, on the walk and score on that double. And then in the second inning, they would come right back and get another one. It's 2 0. Bison after two. Then a wild pitch allows Thomas to score, and it's a 2 1 ball game. And here comes Eric Kennedy to the plate. It's this one on the Cobalt, his first of the night right there for Eric Kennedy. Then in the fourth, right back come the Bison. Throw goes to third, it's a wild throw. That leads to a run, and that puts runners at second and third. A ground out. Two runs come across in the inning, and just like that, it's 4-2, Bison's out in front. So a two-run lead for the Bison. Then we go to the fifth. Dylan Campbell would get one he likes and hit a two run home run out there into the Bison bullpen. We're tied up. They're tied at four. This stayed that way till the seventh and then a big fly. 446 feet, almost a monster shot. Second of the night right there for Eric Kennedy, giving the Longhorns a lead. And then in the eighth, they get some separation as Jared Thomas, the freshman, comes up with a big knock into center. Score that one. And then later in the inning, Jared Gilbent off of the wall in center field for a triple. That made it 7-4. And the Longhorns go on to hold up. And in the ninth, Zane Morehouse finishes it up. Comes out of the bullpen, strikes out. Eventually the side, 7-4 win. Morehouse first save, Grubbs first win. 7-0 on the homestand are the Horns.